Hi! In this video, I'll show you how to set up the Loiverse app. The Loiverse POS is available on both Google Play Store and the Apple App Store. Let's start by installing the Loiverse POS app right here. Open your Loiverse app, register using your email and the password. When you're done with the registration, log in and you'll start seeing this page. Let's start creating items by clicking the Go to Item button. Click Items. Click the plus button. Enter your product name here. Let's say I want to sell this Senda thermal printer. And so I'm going to type it here. Then create or select a category name and color here. Select if you want to sell by item or per weight. Selling items by weight is a common practice in many industries, such as agriculture, food, bulk items, and retail. Overall, selling items by weight allows for greater precision and flexibility in pricing as customers can purchase the exact amount they need. Enter the selling price. The selling price is the amount a customer is willing to pay for a product or service. The selling price is typically higher than the cost to make a profit. Enter the cost. The cost is typically the expense incurred for making a product or service that is sold by a company. Enter your SKU here. SKU is an identifier that is usually eight alphanumerical digits that retailers assign to products to keep track of stock levels internally. Enter your barcode here. The barcode I'm using here is EN13, which is 13 digits long. The other barcode format you may want to use, UPC-A, code 39, code 128, or QR code. Here's a little explanation about the meaning of this barcode. This 202 part here is the GS1 country code for the United States and Canada. This part here is the manufacturer code. This 40011 here is the product's code. And the last digit is the checksum digit. Click here to enable the track stock option. This will let you know how many items you still have. And at the bottom here, we will use a product image. You can upload or take a photo of your product, which is really convenient. When you're done, click Save. Click the arrow to go back. Click the menu icon to open the menu. Click Sales. We will be redirected to the Loiver's website. Click OK here. Type your email and password and click Sign In. Complete this CAPTCHA challenge for your account security. Then click Verify. And you can now log in. You can change the dashboard to light or dark here. Click the menu here. Click on the Settings drop-down menu. Click General Settings here. You can enable these settings by clicking on these buttons. If you want to use an option here, make sure they're active or colored green. Here are the options I enabled. You can use my settings to get you started quickly. Or you can tailor these options depending on your business needs. Click Save when you're done. Click the menu icon again. Click Reset here. So on this page, we can create a receipt. Upload your logos first. This logo is when sending customer receipts to their email address. This logo will be for printing the receipt from the thermal printers. This logo will convert colored logos to black and white, which is suited for printing. So this is the header section. This is for demo purposes only. You can use my layout here or create your own custom layout. So we have the name of the store. A telephone number, an email, and a DTI certificate. And here is the footer with a custom thank you message. All the contact numbers and the web page where customers can contact us. You can also add a warranty message. Enable this to display customer information on email or printed receipts to make it more personalized. Click Save when you're done. Let's head back to the Loivers app. Click Menu, then click Settings, then click Printers. Let's start connecting our thermal printer. Enter MPT-2. Select other model here. Select Bluetooth for interface. Let's search for our Bluetooth printer here. I'll select MPT-2. If MPT-2 is not appearing, you may need to pair your printer to your mobile phone first. To pair your printer, open your phone settings. Search for Bluetooth, enable your Bluetooth, and look for MPT-2. Once your printer is paired to your mobile phone, go back to the Loiver's app. Search for the MPT-2 here again. Select the paper width as 58 millimeters. 
enable these options here, and then let's do a print test here. All right, so it works now. Click Save when you're done. Let's go back to Settings. Click General. Enable this so you can use the phone's camera to scan barcodes. You can select the product layout here. Options are Grid and List. Click Save. Click Menu here. Click Sales. Let's assign a customer to this item. Select the customer who is buying this item or create a new customer and assign them to this item. For this demo, I'll just select the customer and click Add to Ticket. Click Charge. You can split the payment if the customer doesn't have enough cash on hand and needs a different payment method to complete their payment or vice versa. So that's how split works. Let's go back to Complete Purchase and print the receipt. Click Cash. Click the arrow here. Click Print Receipt. Click New Sale. So we made a new sale. We send the email of the receipt and the customer will also have a printed version of the receipt. And that's the most basic setup of Loiver's POS using your phone. More tutorials are coming so stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching.